So here I'm in uh, Canada, uh, actually Toronto to be exact. But uh, years ago, and uh, when I came, became arts director, or well, maybe it's well, when I was arts director, part of my job was to um, uh, um, what do you call it, press releases would come across my desk, and so I read them. And if there's something that was interesting that would, might might uh, interest one of my producers, because I was being arts director of WBI Radio. I would be um, basically the music director, music department, all the DJs, um, the uh, critics in charge of the critics, you know, like the dance critics, the film critics, the art critics, all those kind of kind, kind of theater critics like that. And also uh, the magazine formatted people. So there's about 150 people, 120 people, I should say, that I was basically in, in charge of. Um, I wouldn't say the boss of this, so who listens to me. Um, anyway, um, and part of the thing, one time, a, a thing question came across my desk um, uh, talking about... Um, uh, a choral singing and I'll, I'll look i'm interested in a whole bunch of things but uh, i have a general curiosity about all things in the arts um and so um so i i went and saw this rehearsal uh or this 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 thing and i was so blown away by this sound that i said oh i just gotta get this i gotta interview this guy right um uh, i think it was basically i did my i, I did interview myself you know I, well i'm i'm uh, I'm in charge of arts department. I guess I could interview people. Anyway, so uh, so that was in the in the nineties, and um, so uh, the, the man uh, Kenneth G. Mills he had a, has a memoir that, that's out. See how big it is. He's passed as he passed in two thousand three, I believe two thousand four, somewhere around there, just when I was uh, traveling um, uh, a lot for my uh, incident with the sea. But this is the the tome that they put out that they put out on him. Uh, so you can see it. It's called uh, The Candy Maker's Son, okay, Memoirs of Kenneth G. Mills. Uh, he's a, he's, I guess he was somewhat of a, of a guru, as you say, based in based in Montreal, Canada, and um, not Montreal, it's about based in Toronto, Canada, and so I was surprised because um, when I was coming here uh, on this trip, I still know some of those people in, in those circles, you know, there's the Starscape Singers, which there's, there's a bunch of people and they're really dedicated to his work and his philosophies and stuff like that. It's, it's quite interesting. Um, uh, but anyway, so, so, uh, for the last few days I was in, um, a place, uh, of course, Sarnia, um, what I call Sarnia, they call it Town, something different, uh, with, uh, his long time, a person that was long time assistant, uh, Ellen Mann. I know her, I always stayed in touch with her. Um, so this trip, I figured, you know, well, I just reached out and I said, oh, yeah, well, we'd love to see you. So ended up uh, visiting her and, and and Jennifer was there. And then they took me down to Windsor. Or Jennifer took me down to Windsor. Then, uh, Barry Brody, Dr. Barry Brody, who's a theater kind of person. Um, and, you know, had a lovely lunch with him. And then just today, then I went in Suman, who was with him a, a, a long time. As basically, I know him as his cook when he's, cause he's an excellent cook. Uh, so I'm, I'm at their house and I, him and, and his wife, uh, uh, Gwen, they're a long time, again, a long time. A lot of these people just long time with Dr. Mills since the, you know, since the 80s at least. Um, in fact, there's a guy here, Greg, who's been there longer in, 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 in this, from the 70s. So I have to interview him for sure. Um, and so when I went to lunch today, um, a Lucille and, uh, and it, it had, well, they had me to, to, to lunch, right? Um, and uh, Lucille and Stephanie and they and, and so they presented me with this with this book right, and then I had these little marks. They says, "Oh, you're in the book," and I'm going like, "What? Nobody told me this. <laughs> Somebody's book signed sent by his book." So they showed me, and um, so in this in his chapter, uh, uh, "Man is a song." He has some really turns of phrases that he's that he's uh, very. No, he's just very good turn of phrases. So, uh, uh, ambassadors of the world, uh, man is a song. So, chapter 40, so on, man is a song more than that. Uh, what is this? Uh, what is it? Uh, un unfolding patterns. He has this whole thing called unfoldings and stuff like that. In fact, uh, when I was there at uh, Ellen Mann's place and Ellen and Jennifer's place, um, they had an unfolding, so I, I checked out. Third, it's called third. This is the third movement, interestingly enough. Um, man is a song. Passage 10, third movement. Uh, let me look, see what this, uh, what this, go back to the thing here. Okay, so I see first movement. Um, uh, that's the beginning of his life. Uh, second movement, third movement, fourth movement. 
Um, uh, and that's it. So it's just interesting that I should, well, let's put it this way. I didn't notice, but I'm cited in the third movement, which is significant to me, maybe not to you, because three is one of my numbers. And here's the citing. Here's, here's what it says here. Other singers and musicians have always stood in amazement at, en at the energy and intensity of, of our long hours of rehearsing. Okay, so uh, after attending a rehearsal at Steinway Hall, that was in New York, that's where I saw the, the press release. They had a rehearsal, so I wanted to check it out you know, uh, because it was going to uh, uh, have a concert at Carnegie Hall. And so, so I made sense about it there. All right. So anyway, after attending a rehearsal at Steinway Hall, Anthony Sloan of WBI Radio asked me in an interview about this energy that he had witnessed. It was, I went there, and when I went there, the, the sound of this choral thing was so unique, it just blew me away. I said, oh, go in my head. Oh, I got to interview this guy. <laughs> so I brought him back to the studio. At WBI, uh, here's what I asked him. Uh, uh, asked me in an interview about this energy that he had witnessed. Mr. Mills, I'm just me talking. Mr. Mills, does this have uh, something to do with their technique? Talking about this engine. And I answered, talking about Mr. Mills' answer. Well, the root of technique means self mastery. So, the root of, quote, technique means, quote, self mastery. And I think that they have developed a, an ability to subdue the suggestion that vocal cords that tire or that uh, vocal cords are producing the sound. I mean, we can describe the product, the production of the voice as happening with breath and vocal cords, but we don't even consider that when we sing, we just sing and stay in that place where we're expected newness to appear. And that experience, of course, newness always brings its own vitality. Therefore, we never seem to get tired. Now that means like a word salad to you, but but it means a whole lot to me when I when I read that. Uh, so I'm not going to continue with that. Get the book yourself is available. It is available. Oh, oh, they put it out themselves. It's the Kenneth G. Mills Foundation that uh, puts this thing out. Let me let me see. I'm from 2007. This came out. Yeah, the Kenneth G. Mills Foundation. Uh, so you have to look that up. Uh, yourself. They're located in Toronto. Our post office is about 790 Station F, Toronto, Ontario. M4Y2 and 7, Canada. Um, so, it's, it's, But it's a big tone. But then the other thing, more shocking, they have a picture. They got a picture of me. It says, the, the picture says, um, uh, well, they have a bunch of pictures here. Like they have a bunch of pictures there. But see right there? That's me, right there. That's Dr. Mills. Not Anthony, that's me. And then it says, uh, sharing a laugh with Anthony Sloan during an interview for WBAI Radio above. So that's there. So see, uh, so I'm, I was told, they totally surprised me. I was totally um, um, gobsmacked, or however they, they say it in the, in the English world. Um, so I thought i let you all know, know, know that, you know. So thanks for the gift, and actually I'm going to take this. I'm building the library, uh, building stuff at the at the Lojota house there and uh, the Baza with books and stuff like that. So this is going to be done. This is about creativity, really. It's very. He's a it's interesting. He was an interesting cat, you know, and a lot of things he says is universal. And a lot of things he said, um, um, I uh, um, I actually do practice, or I came at another from another angle, from another reality. So that's it. It's been on. It still continues to be a, a, an interesting trip for me. Uh, almost over this particular leg. So that's all. That's all I can tell you. Uh, I being me, T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, let you know what I only suspect. <laughs>